everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru today with a new formula called D sum. Yes, this is what I have mentioned over here. D sum. What does D sum do for you? It gives you the sum of a column. This is called a column. A vertical collection of data is called column. Uh, it gives you the sum of a column based on the criterion you give to Excel in a specific database. Uh, we'll take an example. The example would be we would calculate the sum of apples. We'll calculate the sum of the profits that was generated from apple trees which were above the height of 12 feet. Cool. So let's do that. I'll, this, uh, this can be done in two ways. The first one is my favorite way by entering the formula syntax and the second one is by going to the formula tabs and choosing the FX feature. So we'll choose, we'll start with my favorite way which is by entering the formula syntax. Every formula in Excel starts with an is equal to sign. So we type D S U M what do you say? Adds the number in the field column of records in the database that match the condition you specified. So parentheses is open. Now it says database. Now here we have to ensure that before we do D sum, we have to prepare a database, a consolidated database. There should be no rows or no columns which should be blank, completely blank. And we also have to set up the criteria field. The criteria field is over here field name and the criteria is mentioned over here. You have to do that. Now the, this is the database. I select the database. Now it says field. So which on which field do I want the total? I want the total on profits. I'll teach you a cool trick. See I clicked over here. It gave me G9. That's the cell reference, correct? Now if I select it and press F9, it will return the exact syntax the text typo typed over there <laughs> isn't it cool I loved it and now we have to give the criteria now my criteria is that the name of the uh, tree should be apple and the height should be above 12 feet okay so I close this parenthesis and press enter and there's the answer the sum so this answer is the sum of profits of apple trees which were above the height of 12. Isn't it cool? Something akin to this can be achieved from some ifs also. The training file that you're looking at, that, uh, that, you, that you are looking at, is available for free download. I mean the Excel file. is available for free download on my website, excelmadeeasy.weebly.com. You can go to this website. Yes, this is my website. I created it myself. I love saying that. I say it in every video. <laughs> and you go to training files and you can download the file from there and on my web page there are links to my social networking sites so you can follow us on Twitter you can like us on Facebook or you can subscribe us subscribe to me on YouTube now you should only and only do this if you believe if you believe that what I'm doing is right what I'm doing is sharing of knowledge and that knowledge is to be shared that everybody deserve to know that yes this is something that can be done and learned if you won't do that then go to Twitter and then follow it then share the content go to Facebook like us not only like us but share our content share my content go to YouTube these are the people who have already subscribed to me I'm so very happy and then click on the subscribe button all it will ask you to enter your email ID and some of your data. It's for free. And more than that, share. Share the content on Facebook, Twitter. Click on show more. It will give you hundreds of more options. So share the content if you believe that knowledge has to be shared. So this was your Excel Guru today with the formula D sum. I hope it was nice. You liked it. I'm signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.